So good morning from the Whistle family household. Uh, today has been a really interesting one. Actually, the last couple of days have been a really interesting one. I'm just cooking pancakes. It's literally nearly 12 o'clock, but pancakes on a two stove top for five people does take a really long time. So I'm last as always. Uh, so I'm making my ones whilst the kids are just watching their programs. And yeah, it's been a really interesting couple of days. This morning especially, um, our youngest, Oslo, decided to run into a chair with a cover over his face so he couldn't see. Um, and I wasn't quick enough to catch him, so he's cut his eye just above his eyebrow. He's fine, he's doing well. We've cleaned it up, put a plaster on him, and he's all right at the moment. Uh, so don't worry about that. And then yesterday, I had to go to the doctors because I had an infection. And I knew I had an infection at, like, at, like at least a week ago, but I decided to leave it. And I just wanted to kind of talk through that kind of part of being in a foreign country. Um, even if I was in the UK, I tend to not go to the doctors quick enough. But here it seems that you either see a doctor for like a hospital situation, or you need to try and find their version of a general practitioner, which is very difficult. So there's like hospitals around us. We're very, very, very close to all the hospitals here. Um, but there's also, I didn't need a hospital. So it's very difficult to work that out. Um, we have insurance, but not for minor things. And we didn't know how that would work. We didn't know which one to see because obviously there are private ones here and we don't know which one's the best is. Um, but I did manage to go to one that's really, really close by that I hadn't actually heard of. I did get quite a few good recommendations from um, some people on Instagram, some friends of mine. Um, and I got some good suggestions there, but I just didn't... You don't know what you're doing when you're in a new country, that's for sure. Uh, and I definitely did not. So we went there and it was really, really worrying for me. Like I got really anxious. I'm so anxious about things going wrong and not being healthy or, you know, injuries, all that stuff. It's not good, especially when you're in a foreign country and you do not know what you are doing. Um, but we went there and it was really simple. All I had to do was basically tell them whether or not I had insurance, fill out a few forms. I didn't need to make any appointments. I could just go straight in. The doctor was lovely. She told me how sorry she was about the queen dying, which, you know, it was really sad. And then I had to go to the lab to have some tests done because I knew that I had to have those tests done anyway. Uh, had those, had to wait a couple of hours, came back because we just walked back home. Then we went back to go and see what the results was. The results was, as I thought, they were really bad and it meant I needed antibiotics. Um, so then we got the, I got, sorry, the um, diagnosis and the results um, and my prescription. And then all I need to do is go back next week to make sure that the infection has gone. And I went to Watson's, I believe, which is literally, again, very, very close by to where we are. Um, got my prescription and all done. It's not as scary as I thought it was gonna be. The nurses and the doctors there were so amazing and I got to see female doctors, which for me is, I know it shouldn't be a bother, but with certain things, I like to see a female. And it was 910 pesos for both the consultation and the lab testing, which I think was really good. I'm sure there'll be lots of you in the comments saying, no, that's so expensive, you shouldn't have gone there. But as a foreigner and a first timer going to a foreign doctor's, because I've never ever been to one, even in, on a holiday, I've never had to go to a doctor's. Um, I was really happy and I got seen really quickly, which is, you know, all you really want, isn't it? You want to be feel like you're being taken care of and taken seriously. And you also want to feel like you can go somewhere in confidence and you're not going to get, you know, dodgy service or overcharged but i just wanted to quickly jump on here before this video starts and mention that these things do happen to people that come over from other countries you are going to need to experience going to a doctor's or a hospital especially with children as you will see in a minute um it's really important to get that fear out of you and know what to do in a pinch you're going to have to know these things and know how to 
deal with it. So I'm going to eat these pound cakes because I am starving. Uh, we're not going to have lunch today. We are going to go out later though. And we will show you obviously everything we're going to be up to today. Because that is the main point of this video. Um, the doctor part is just to kind of be a bit honest with you guys and some realness into family life here. Uh, but I'm going to eat some breakfast. Yep, hold on. And then I'm going to show you what we're actually going to be getting up to today. <laughs> yeah. Are you feeling okay? Yeah. Are you going to tell everybody that you're feeling okay? Yeah. Yeah. He's a little bit swollen around the eye, but um, we put a little plaster on it. So we got a great comment on our feed about the Mall of Asia fireworks display that happens every Friday at seven o'clock in the evening. So we decided to go and obviously take a look at it. We love fireworks. We love celebrating the Burr months as we've been told they're called. Um, and the run up for Christmas is very exciting for us as a family. We love Christmas. We've always loved Christmas. So we're gonna go out and have a look around the Mall of Asia. There's a few new things in there that we've been kind of keeping an eye on. And we've had loads of ads popping up for them. So we're really excited to go and try those. Um, but for now, we're gonna go and slowly get ready. It's around one o'clock in the afternoon now. The fireworks are until seven. So we didn't wanna to leave too early, but also we don't wanna hit like mid afternoon traffic. So we're going to start to slowly go out and hope to get out by around two. But yeah, we're really excited to see these fireworks displays. They're supposed to be amazing. Um, I know also somebody said that the Mall of Asia does usually host New Year's as well. I don't know if that's true or not, um, but they are known for doing very good displays. So it's very exciting to see. And we are going to get some food as well in a new place that we've spotted. So we're just going to get all the kids ready now and start to slowly make our way out. We've not been here to, since the first week we... Yeah, yeah our Paranyaki days. See. It's so weird because we saw a few of like the bus stops and places that we've been already, yeah. like on the way back. So this yeah, cool. it's very Christmassy this time. Yeah, so. we can't wait to see what's new here as well. And also we, we're outside a different entrance, which we haven't done before. No. The biggest thing I remember being here at the Mall of Asia is the fact that I lost my phone in the toilet. Did someone make an error? I left my phone in the toilet and I had to run off with a lane from the toilet to go to the admin to go and find it. Luckily they had it but... Panicked because she went like for... It felt like an hour. I think I was gone like 20 minutes. 20 minutes? Maybe. It felt like, like an hour, 15 minutes. Hour and a half. And I was like, Maybe. in the Mall of Asia, <laughs> in the biggest mall in, in the world. I lose my phone. <laughs> my wife has gone. I know. Missing. I can't contact her. She's got my phone. I know. And it's like, oh my god, I've got three kids and I don't know where the hell I am. So, fingers crossed that doesn't happen again today. But we're going to go on our way and have a look at how beautiful this mall is now at Christmas time. So one of the new things we noticed on the website or sorry, on Instagram was that there is a Shake Shack coming. We really like Shake Shack. There's one. Where do we go, buddy? We go. We go to the Green Belt one, that's the one. We go to Green Belt uh, Shake Shack, but we really like it. Look, they've got candy cane trees. That's really cool. The decorations around here are amazing. I don't even want to know how long this took everybody, but it looks so beautiful here. I, the together. I know. And I love the candy can. Yeah. Very exciting. So there's, yeah, I know. So there's even going to be a huge Christmas tree that just stops at the top there. Right at the bottom. Down there was, when we last came, the um, promo for the House of Dragon, the uh, Game of Thrones spin-off show and now it's going to be a big Christmas tree yeah and Oslo can see the slide that we went on when we were in the food hall Yeah, 
you excited? Cool. Three pizzas, truffle fries, and drinks all round came to 2,714 pesos, so around 41 pounds, which is not bad, even in L. So it's definitely on the higher spectrum of pizza prices. Uh, Gino's tends to be a, like five to 600 pesos less, and that's if we have dessert as well. Um, so, and we only got three pizzas here, don't forget, and that's between five. So that is quite expensive for pizza here. Um, but we've seen this uh, pizza place all over Instagram and that is why we're here today because we have not stopped seeing ads from it and it does look amazing and we know it has another venue but we're not quite sure where that is. I think it's BGC um, and the other one is here in the Mall of Asia but we thought if we combine this with seeing the fireworks it would be one heck of a good day out. So these are the truffle fries and they come with like this little pot of I guess maybe truffle or garlic mayo which looks cool yeah tasty yeah. that garlic aioli are you enjoying your christmas music as well loving christmas it is blasting out it's so fun so the kids just got soft drinks and so did kev but i really wanted to try their ice lemon frescato iced tea and it's a slush and i love slush and it's so hot at the moment and um, that it's really nice to get something really really cold so yeah i'm excited to try this one oh that is so nice So this one is the white pizza. The one we tried before was the pepperoni and this one is just white. So it's got like a white sauce and uh, cheese on top and that's it because Ellen wanted a plain pizza today, didn't you darling? So this was her choice, so we're gonna try it. Is it good? It's like cheese on toast. Cheese on toast? <laughs> Yum. Is it good, buddy? Yeah, I like the cheese one. I like the crust. And then my choice was the prosciutto and arugula. Uh, we call that rocket in UK, but here it's arugula. Um, that's an American kind of term for it. So I really enjoy pizza. Lou. I think I think for us, Gino is still number one. Uh, it's still the best, and it's so close to where we are that we can always walk there if we really fancy pizza. But it was a really good choice and I felt like it was a really, it's like at least like an 8 out of 10. It was really good. It's just a little bit more expensive and the pizza just isn't as fluffy and light as Gino's for us. It was also really cool. You can sit in but it's so small. It probably only seats around 10 people at the max. So you can sit in and it's really cool cloud seats. I think the venue in BGC is a lot bigger and I think they do like uh, music events and cocktails and things but you can sit on these like cloud chairs uh, but we kept missing out on that because there was like a queue of people wanting to sit on them so we just decided to sit in the food hall but it's still really cool it's very Christmassy there's a lot of music here and we're just relaxing um, I think Kev's gonna try and find the marching band and then after that we're gonna head over to the uh, boardwalk yeah yeah, and uh, see the fireworks. So yeah, we're gonna finish off and um, see you then. <laughs> so we're trying to find the SM store because that's where the marching band was and we thought it was this area. Turns out it's not. We've got to go all the way back through and into the other side. So we're gonna take a quick walk because it's between four and six that the marching band actually plays. So we're not gonna miss it hopefully, but We've got to get a move on. <laughs> so we can definitely hear it. It's just ahead of us now. So thank God we didn't miss it because this was part of what we really wanted to see today. So we're following the marching band as they are moving really quickly, uh, but they don't stay in one place very long. So we're following them to see if they stop again because they are supposed to be performing until six. And it's only like half four, so we've still got time. 
So it looks like the guys are having a break now. So we are just kind of sitting and watching them and Chill. waiting for them to uh, re-perform because we just missed it as we came out. Uh, but as I said, they should be performing again. We've just got to wait. They were so happy to have a photo with like Harry and Yeah, the yeah, kids. I'll put the photo up. They got a little photo, but none of the little ones wanted to go because they were too scared. <laughs> It's like 5.15 and the fireworks are at 7 so we're just stopping by to grab some ice cream mm -hmm. uh, just to cool down and also the kids are getting a little bit ratty and then we're going to walk to the boardwalk where all the fireworks are going to be going off. So this is the first time we've ever try, tried a dairy cream Yeah. and it seems very very popular. It so. is, it's very, we don't get it in the UK, it's only America isn't it? Yeehaw! <laughs> <laughs> So this is the Kit Kat one, and then the kids got a chocolate sundae, Oslo got a strawberry one, and Kev got a mocha malt. So it's our first time trying Dairy Queen. What do we think? Yeah. <laughs> yeah? <laughs> These trees. Instead of looking like candy canes, they look like Dr. Seuss's. Oh, Dr. Seuss trees. Yeah. Yeah, I don't, yeah, a little bit like the cat in the hat. Yeah. <laughs> so we just missed the sunset, didn't we? Well, just. Just. 
adjust but that is glorious like i've never seen this is our first proper filipino sunset because obviously the rain has been rigorous and it is beautiful but the sun's just gone down uh but look at it it's so pretty right you ready to see some fireworks in a bit oh, yes. yeah you ready yeah cool so let's go Yeah. 